Hello everyone. Now we will solve one more numerical which is based on the same topic centroid. The question says that find the centroid of a given shape of surface. Now when you see the surface it is not having a predefined standard shape on which we can directly apply the formula of centroid. Now if any shape is coming like this we have to find out or we have to break this into few standard shapes. If in this question it is given there this is the origin so take care about the origin all the values of centroid will change if the origin shift to any other new point so give attention to the origin now this is the x axis and y axis from this it is just going straight distance is 120 and this is just an arc of radius 75 just to find out the centroid of this we have to imagine let's say first area this a triangle one now we can find out the centroid of this very easily using the right angle triangle formulas but for this we cannot have any standard shape for this now what we can do here we can imagine a square and from that square what we do we have to subtract this area to make it more clear i have drawn this diagram just try to understand now this is the triangle which i was saying just like the same having the dimensions 120 by 75 and this is the second square which is an imaginary one is not existing in the main object but just imagine so that from this square we can subtract this area so these are the three surfaces which we have to take to find out or to solve the centroid for this object now in this if I say if I talk about the dimensions first this is the dimension it is having the length 120 units are mm and this distance is how much 75 right and using these two we will find out the center of this object now the second one is it is having this distance as we have assumed this one after this imaginary part so this distance 120 it is 120 far away from origin then the dimension of this square is there what is that 75 by 75 so take care about these I have taken this same distance just to make it clear whenever we have to find out the center of this we have to add this distance because reference point will remain same now for this it is having the dimension here it is 75 and on this side also 75 now we will see we will find out the center of this this and this then after that we have to use the formula what will be the formula for this centroid of this plus centroid of this minus centroid of this because this is the area we have to remove from this just try to see this is a square this is the removed area the third part it should be removed right it should be added so from this if I subtract this the remaining part will be this part so the formula for this will be x bar will be a1 x1 plus a2 x2 minus a3 x3 because this sub area has to be subtracted divided by a1 plus a2 minus a3 remember this and when we have to find out the y bar that will be a1 y1 plus a2 y2 minus a3 y3 the area which is not present we have to subtract it in both so it will be a1 plus a2 minus a3 so to find out the centroid of uh, the, this given object we have to find out the value of a a1 a2 a3 then we need the value of x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 so we will see for these three surfaces separately now let's talk about this let's say this is the surface 1 this is the surface 2 and this is the surface 3 so let's see for surface 1 we know that this is a right angle triangle at this point its centroid will be here as per the standard shape this will be what h by 3 means if this is okay I'll take b it will be so this will be b by 3 if this is b let's say this 120 this is b so it will be b minus 3 but we need this centroid this will be x1 not this one so what will be that 120 minus this distance 120 minus this distance because this is the x1 so we will find out x1 x1 will be b minus b by 3 
that is 120 minus 120 by 3 so 120 by 3 that is 40 so 1 8, 120 minus 40 that is 80 mm so this is x1 now what will be y1 same so we need this distance we have to find out this one so this is y1 right now what will be this it will be same if this is h so it will be what h by 3 this distance h by 3 so directly we can say 75 by 3 so i can say h by 3 that is 75 by 3 i have solved all these in the previous videos you can go if you have any doubt in this you can try to uh, understand from the previous video for particular triangle only so that is what now 25 mm now we will calculate the area also along with the same area 1 now we know that what is the area of a triangle that is half into base into height so that is half into base that is what 120 into height that is 75 so we are getting after calculation we are getting 4500 mm square right now this is the case for object one only now let's talk about the second that is a square so what will be x2 now x2 will be we know that it is always b by 2 l by 2 so we need this distance what will be the centroid now in x direction centroid will be this distance now how can i say 120 plus this means 120 plus 75 half so it will be 120 plus 75 by 2 so 75 by 2 37.5 so we are getting after calculation we are getting 157.5 mm now what will be y2 y2 means from this point this distance and we know that directly that is what b by 2 or whatever the distance is here so it will be 75 by 2 okay so we can say b by 2 or whatever the symbol you are using so this is directly 75 by 2 and that is coming equals to 37.5 mm now we will find out the area 2 also that is what this is a square so it will be directly l into b or we can say uh, b square whatever so this is 75 into 75 and we are having the area that is 5625 mm square so this is for second area now we will talk about the third one now this is what it is just similar to the quarter circle and we know that x3 now what will be x3 from this where the x3 will be we know that this distance as per the standard shape this is what 4 r by 3 pi but we need this distance right so we can say that this is how much 120 as you have seen here also this is what 120 so it will be 120 plus 75 minus this distance why we need this distance now so it will be 120 up to this if i add 75 full but i need up to this only so 120 plus this distance now what is this distance 75 minus this distance so i can say x3 is 120 plus 75 minus 4 r by 3 pi just to understand this again you can use a separate video on the quarter circle you can follow that to understand it better so we fill the value that is what now 120 plus 75 and what is the value of r radius 75 so this is 4 times 75 divided by 3 into 3.14 so after calculation we are getting the value that is 163.169 mm now we will go for the y3 now what will be y3 in the direction of y from x-axis means we need this distance if this is the centroid for this particular object so this is the we can say y3 now what will be y3 as per formula we have only this 4 r by 3 pi just try to see uh, we were having this formula if i just revise the things this one if this is the base so we were having this 4 r by 3 pi similarly if this is the base we are having this distance 4 r by 3 pi but we need this distance so try to see it is just the mirror image of this that is why we are taking always take the value from this and this 
so that is why we are taking value from this to this the formula 4 r by 3 pi same in the triangle always value will be from base or from perpendicular that is why we have to subtract b b minus 3 or whatever here also it will be y3 75 the complete 75 minus 4 r by 3 pi because we need this distance this is y3 total minus this so we will get this so that is 75 minus 4 r by 3 pi and we know the value of r that is 75 so 75 minus 4 into 75.3 into 3.14 and we are getting the value that is equal to 43.169 mm now we will get the value of area 3 area 3 is equal to area of this that is the quarter circle so that is pi r square pi r square is the area of a circle so this is the quarter part so divided by 4 so this is 3.14 into 75 square value of r divided by 4 after calculation we are getting it so this is double four one seven point nine mm square so this is the area of third that is the quarter circle now we have to fill all these values in the given equation of x bar and y bar in this and this we will see i have written the same formula again now we will fill the values now what is x bar x bar is equal to a1 a1 is the area of triangle that is what four five double zero a1 into x1 x1 is 80 mm a1 x1 plus a2 a2 is what area of square that is 5625 into x2 x2 is what 157.5 minus a3 a3 is the area of quarter circle that is double four one seven point nine into x3 x3 is 163.169 divided by a1 a1 is what 4500 plus a2 5625 minus a3 that is double four one seven point nine now after calculation we are getting the value of x bar that is equal to 92 mm now we will find out the value of y bar this was told to be calculated now we will find out the y bar y bar is equal to we will fill the value in the same formula what is a1 that is again 4500 into y1 y1 is 25 mm plus a2 a2 is 5625 into y2 y2 is 37.5 minus a3 that is area of quarter circle into y3 y3 is 43.169 divided by area 1 plus area 2 minus area 3 after calculating this we are getting the value of y bar and that is equal to 23.3 mm so this is the centroid of the given arbitrary shape of object